Hello everybody, my name is Kristina Popova and I'm presenting our paper called Vulnerability as an Ethical Stance in Soma Design Processes. Vulnerability in interaction with technology is rarely viewed as anything positive. In human-computer interaction, vulnerability is often considered to be a weakness. A weakness in cybersecurity, a problem with exposing research participants to harm, and a potential potential possibility of misuse of technology. In this paper, we present an alternative view on vulnerability, and we claim that purposeful vulnerability of a designer is a necessarily yet often neglected condition for interaction design. Here, we understand purposeful vulnerability as an act of taking risk, exposing oneself to potential harm, and reside in a part of one's autonomy within a design process. We claim that these qualities are fundamental to first-person design perspectives and summer design specifically. The main orientation of our paper is theoretical. However, we present our theoretical conclusions and discussion around vulnerability, building on the data gathered during our design process around human-drawn interaction. The initial goal of our design process was to explore the relationships with a drone as the other, the one who is neither completely autonomous nor fully controlled by its drone by its human pilot. Our broader goal was to explore ethics as a phenomena enacted in the interaction between humans and technology, and try to analyze how ethics can be felt in the interaction with the drone. Our work was situated within some aesthetic design methodology. Even though we did not initially plan to explore vulnerability and conditions of its emergence within our design process, it, it soon became clear that vulnerability and, broadly, interaction within the group was central for our design work. It was somewhat related to the specifics of some aesthetics, which implies a very personal and intimate approach to design, and, when implemented within the group, requires one to open up in front of the others and to explore, expose her feelings, maybe fears, maybe potential embarrassments, to be scrutinized by others in order to be used in the design process. It also implies personal engagement with uh, design materials during material explorations, which may, in certain cases, involve more direct physical risks. In the empirical part of this paper, we consider how vulnerability manifests itself during three phases of our design work. In the early exploratory design experiments, um, then during an accidental breakdown involved, uh, involving a collision with a drone and one of our group members, and during later, more focused design explorations, when the directions of our work became a little bit clearer and when the trust among our group members has been established. To document and analyze our design processes, we used a combination of ethnography, video analysis and microphenomenological interviews, which we conducted after the drone crash episode. At the center of the empirical part of this paper is the fragment where we analyze accidental but fruitful breakdown when we by mistake crashed a drone into one of our group members. The crash has become a breakdown in the sense that it was a quite an intense moment of emotional tension followed by release. The breakdown was successfully resolved by engaging in the work of care to repair the consequences of the crash. The episode became important for us because it opened up the space for ethical action towards each other. And since the crash was such an intense moment, it, pro it prompted us to go back to this experience from microphenological interviews and explicate the work which we took to mitigate the consequences. It was also an episode which made us as a group to reflect over our usually not noticed and not reflected about uh, ethical actions towards each other, which we implement in more regular circumstances to allow ourselves be, to be vulnerable and open within the group design work. Overall, the crush made us reflect over other 
milder breakdowns, emotionally intense moments when we, which we experience during our design explorations daily, and which we had to mitigate over intensive, yet very mundane, and mostly not reflected upon interactional work. This interactional work needed to take place to allow us be being fully engaged in our work, which sometimes could be embarrassing, not always fruitful, and occasionally risky. In this paper, we analyze how we implemented this everyday interactional work, creating safe conditions where we could be open in engaging in our non-habitual design explorations. We came to several theoretical conclusions in this paper. First of all, we state that purposeful vulnerability of a designer is a necessary yet often neglected part of interactional design process aimed at exploring novel interactional qualities. Secondly, we claim that vulnerability is not a default state. It's an interactional achievement which has to be collaboratively produced and orchestrated by the group. Vulnerability has to be cultivated in the interaction, and it implies that certain setbacks and resistance of group members on various stages have to be expected. Vulnerability cannot be imposed. We also claim that breakdowns and failures can potentially be fruitful for design process as they open up a space for explicating what is usually taken for granted. This is especially relevant when it comes to our mundane ethical decision-making, which is not part of any guidelines, but which we take all the time as a part of our collaborations, being part of collaborations and collectives. Breakdowns, therefore, can create a possibility to train our ethical sensitivities and, when needed, create a possibility to also alternate our habitual ethical responses. All that said, developing ethical sensitivity implies discomfort, and the presence of the discomfort has to be accepted. The discomfort should not be avoided, but explored, because its reasons may vary. The discomfort may come either from the very fact of engaging with unusual, or from the experience of putting oneself at risk without trusting sufficiently in the environment, or, for example, to the situations when one's privilege has been questioned. Discomfort is an important indicator which must be taken into account and explored further. For more details, please read our paper.